Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a shawl um, using the Magic Circle, all double crochets and V stitches. It is a super easy beginner friendly pattern. Anyone can make this as long as they know how to do a double crochet. All right, so you're gonna need your yarn and I'm using the Caron Simply Soft and the colorway is soft green. And it is a medium weight four and it calls for a five millimeter crochet hook, which is what I'm using. And I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. You're gonna need your scissors for cutting off your ends and then of course your yarn needle for weaving in your ends, if you want to weave them in. All right, so to get started with the magic circle, you hold the tail end of your yarn in your in, uh, underneath your ring and pinky finger and then wrap your working yarn around your index and middle finger and then just kind of brace it with your ring finger go underneath the first strand grab the second one pull through twist your hook up to where it's pointing up and then you grab your working yarn and pull it through and there you have your magic circle All right, so for this pattern, I'm gonna do 13 double crochets all in the magic circle. So I'm gonna chain three. And that, that counts as my first double crochet. So I have 12 more. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So then just take your tail end and then just pull it as tight as you want okay so to start your next row you're gonna chain three so from this row on out the chain three on each side does not count as a stitch okay and I forgot to mention in the beginning but we are going to be doing back loop only so that you have a really pretty texture to your um, shawl so then you're gonna turn your work and in your very first stitch here, you're gonna do a double crochet into that back loop only. So you're gonna go in between those two stitches. And there you've made your first double crochet back loop only. So you've got one, two, Three, four, five, and six. And that puts you at the center of your previous row. And this is where you're gonna make your V-stitch. So to make your V-stitch, you're gonna yarn over, go into that back loop only, and do a double crochet. Then you're gonna chain two and make one more double crochet in that same stitch and that makes your V-stitch. <clears throat> and then you're gonna do one double crochet back loop only till you get to the end of your row. Sorry, I'm pulling out some more yarn here. And then on the very last stitch, you're gonna add another double crochet and I'll explain why here in just a second. almost at the end here. So I should have six, one, two, three, four, five, okay, six. Okay, so here's where you're gonna add another double crochet, and that's because you chained three 
and turned your work and that chain three does not did not count as a stitch right and you added another double crochet into that first stitch so you have to do the same thing on your last stitch of your row and what this is doing is actually making your project wider so that it's going to grow as you go along with your rows all right, so that's what it should be looking like. And by doing the back loop only, as you can see, it gives you this really pretty ridge here. It gives a great texture. It makes, I just think it makes any project look beautiful. All right, so let's go on to the next row. So you're gonna chain three. That does not count as a double crochet. It's just your chain three. And then you're gonna turn your work and you're gonna do a double crochet back loop only into your very first stitch. All right, and then you're gonna do one double crochet back loop only to every stitch until you get to your V stitch, and that's where you're going to place another V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Here I am at a double crocheted back loop only into my last double crochet here. Here's my V stitch. And you can either do a back loop only V stitch or you can just do it right in here. For me, it's just easier to do it right in the center. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet. All in your V stitch. Okay, and here's your next stitch. Double crochet back loop only into every stitch until you get to your last one of the row. And that is where you're placing two double crochets. I don't want it to sound confusing. Um, it, it really isn't. Unless you are a super beginner, then it, it, it probably can be somewhat confusing. But, Hopefully it isn't. Okay, so I've, here's my last stitch right here, and this is where I'm going to place two double crochet back loop only. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and it will have the same pattern on each side so there is no wrong or right side. Let me grab some more yarn here. I'm gonna do a couple more rows with you. Okay, so chain three. Remember, it does not count as a stitch. It's just your setup for making your next row bigger. Turn your work. And in that first stitch here, back loop only is your Double crochet, your first double crochet. Sorry. And then one double crochet in each stitch till you get to your V stitch. So if you're um, an intermediate or expert crocheter, this can be a mindless pattern because after your first, excuse me, after your second row, there really is no counting until you're at your last stitch and you know, just making sure that you put two double crochets in that last stitch of the row. Unless you are just one that has to be, that has to count, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so here we are at the center, do your V stitch, double crochet, chain two, another double crochet. All right, here's your first stitch after your V stitch. And that's one double crochet back loop only into each stitch till you get to your last stitch. And remember, your last stitch gets two double crochets. If 
you guys don't mind, comment down below and let me know what state you're watching from. Um, sure you can tell by my southern accent that <laughs> I'm from the south. I live in Georgia. Okay, I'm at my last stitch. I'm gonna put two double crochet. Ugh, back loop only. I'm sorry. With this thumb, it's, I can like hold things between my fingers, but I can't really put like a lot of pressure on there. So it, I just tend to drop things and kind of struggle a little bit. But anyway, so here is your one, two, three, I have four rows. I'll do one more row with you. But anyway, so I'm from Georgia. The weather here today is cloudy. It's in the 60s and it's perfect. I love this weather. All right, so chain three for your next row. Turn your work. Very first stitch gets a double crochet back loop only. Remembering that chain three does not count as a stitch. So essentially what you're doing is you're adding two extra stitches per row to make your project grow. Again, this is not one that you really need to measure unless someone says, well, I want a shawl that's four foot wide to wrap around my shoulders a couple of times, then hey, by all means, break out your um, measuring tape and measure. Okay, I'm almost at the center here. Okay, and then here you're gonna put your V-stitch, which is double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet all in the same area. So your V-stitches, of course, go in your V-stitches from the previous row. All right, I'm gonna finish up this row with you and then um, I'll end the video. If you hear that water, it's just my dishwasher, I'm sorry. What other fun things do you guys like to do? Um, I love to oil paint as well. I haven't done an oil painting in probably a year maybe, but that is one of those things that you really, for me anyway, you really have to be in the mood um, because it can, not being in the mood to paint can really alter how your painting goes. And I've, I've done that a lot. And I also love working at my flower gardens, which I haven't been able to do that probably since May. Definitely haven't touched it since August when I had the surgery on my thumb. All right, so I'm at the last stitch here, and this is where you're gonna put your two double crochets. So there's one, and there's two, okay. So here is what it will look like. As you can see, your little, your every other row stands out. And again, it's the same on each side. I think, again, I think this just make, makes a beautiful um, shawl. <clears throat> so anyway, that's how that looks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, comment down below if you want. Let me know what state you're watching from. I'd love to know where everybody is from. Let me know what other hobbies you have, if you have any other hobbies. Of course, like I said, mine is oil painting. I love to crochet, of course. Um, working in my flower gardens, and then I have two dogs. I have a bloodhound and a Labrador, and they're also my hobbies. They're my pets, you know, my babies. But anyway, again, my name is Michelle. Welcome to Michelle's Crochet Corner. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. If you have any comments, critiques, or questions, Please leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching.